can stop this. God is angry with your ways. You only have to turn to Him and mend your ways. Pray to Him. Ask Him for forgiveness and you will be saved. You can come with me on my ark. You will be saved from the flood. Noah, have you gone mad? You do not make any sense. Why are you doing all this? Stop building this nonsense ark and look after your family. Sorry, my friend, this is my work. God has asked me to do this. I have to obey him. I will build this ark as he has told me. The villagers laughed loudly and returned to their homes. By now, Noah had gathered all the food grains, the seeds, and the animals. He stored the food grains in the ark. God then made the animals arrive in pairs. Every animal and bird on the earth waited in line patiently to enter the ark. There were lions, tigers, elephants, snakes, parrots, zebras, everyone. Two by two, they entered the ark. Then Noah called to the villagers and once again invited them to enter his ark. The people still refused to believe in him. They could not understand why he was collecting animals and placing them in the ark. They continued to sin against God and they refused to enter. You said it would rain for 40 days, Noah. I don't even see a drip of rain anywhere. Do you still think that you're making any sense? Do you really think that this God is going to save you? You have been making a fool of yourself and trying to make us all fools as well. I believe in my Lord. He will never abandon me. He has always guided me to do what is right. I am still inviting you to join me in the ark. You will be saved. We are not coming into your stupid ark. You can do as you please. Just leave us alone now. Once Noah had completed filling up his ark with the animals, God told Noah to assemble his family and bring them into the ark. Once they had entered the ark, the door was closed and the ark was sealed shut. As soon as the ark was sealed, the first drops of rain began to fall on earth. The villagers were amazed as there had not been any rains for a very long time. Soon it was raining heavily and big thunderclouds gathered all around the village. It continued to rain for days and soon the water was flooding the village. The ark then began to float over the water. People in the village were running for shelter as their homes had been swept away by the flood. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and the animals he had brought with him were safe and warm in the ark. It rained heavily for 40 days, and in the end there was nothing but water all around. All living beings were drowned, and even the highest mountains were covered by the flood. Noah looked out of the window of his ark and could see nothing but water all around. After 40 days and 40 nights of rain, it stopped raining. The water level slowly started coming down. The ark continued to sail with Noah's family and the animals. They kept sailing in search of dry land. After many days, Noah sent a dove out in search of dry land.